Hello people of the web and welcome back to Creator's Thoughts. It's been a while since I recorded an episode, but I had some thoughts to share and I'd love to hear yours on the topic too. I want to talk about responses, in particular in regards to working with publishers. There are a lot of streamers that apply for all partnerships and game keys around in a very scattershot way shoot off as many emails as possible and hope that some respond positively. My process is a little bit more selective. If a brand or game piques my interest, I do some research to learn as much as I can about it. Only then will I know if the game or company would suit my content style and whether I can offer good value. When I reach out, I really believe in the value proposition. I feel this typically comes through in my communications and I've had a lot of success when reaching out. This history has probably allowed my brain to believe more in the possibility and even get excited about the potential of the future relationship, be that integration ideas, talking points, or even just how to shape my schedule around it. Yes, I put a lot of thought into things, which helps power this podcast. This episode was inspired by one particular game that I was hoping to cover, the game is Dredge, very different from a lot of games I've covered, but one that's art style and game mechanics had me excited to play and share with my community. Dredge was developed by Black Salt Games. I believe this is their first game, but they are working with Team17 to publish the game, a company that I've loved working with several times in the past. Monster Sanctuary, Sunday Gold and Rogue Heroes were all provided by Team17 to myself and have been featured on my channel. All games I've covered from Team17 have been provided by a single member of the influencer relationship team, Matt, whom I have to say I like. Just an awesome guy. If you're listening, Matt, you rock and I appreciate you. The seeding of keys for Dredge was being done by a different member of the team but I don't believe that a lack of familiarity was to blame for my being overlooked. Dredge's trailers and early coverage surely brought a lot of attention to the game, and that attention likely converted to a lot of interest from content creators such as myself. Not all requests can be answered, and sadly I missed out. None of this is surprising or new, it happens. Always hits me hard because of my belief in the value I bring and how fortunate I've been in the past with key requests but I have some thoughts on how the process could be improved. As a part-time streamer with significant commitments outside of my content, I have to make an effort to make my streaming schedule work. This means sometimes I plan my schedule stream days maybe a few weeks in advance. When I reach out to cover a game, I will often have channel point redemptions, talking points and more in mind that require a little bit of prep time so it helps to know as early as possible if I've been granted a key so I can action those parts and to start hyping up my coverage. It's also nice to know as early as possible if I've not been selected, so that I can park any ideas, consider how that impacts my schedule, and make alternative plans. All publishers work a little differently, but my ideal process would be Step 1. Game is announced. Publishers provide a form for creators interested in covering the game to complete. The form should have an expected timeline for updates. For example, we'll decide and email you to confirm your key is reserved by X date. Keys will be sent out on Y date and you can play the game from Z date and release content or stream from, I've run out of letters, um, A date. Step two, the studio decides which creators are no's, which are yeses, and then which they have as reserve. Didn't quite make it, but if someone drops out or more keys become available, they will add them to the yes list. Step three, an email to all thanking them for their interest and informing creators if they made the cut. If not, then a little note to remind them that while they love working with creators and appreciate the interest, keys are always limited. And if a creator is on their maybe list, a note to say, we will let you know if a key becomes available. Communication helps set expectations and helps creators feel seen, even if the news isn't what you might have hoped for. This about wraps up my thoughts. I'd love to hear your stories of communications with brands or publishers and what you think the ideal steps might be. Thank you for listening. Bye bye now.